So my name is Dr. Nita Doshi and I'm a pediatric cardiologist here at the Children's Hospital of Orange County. I'm here today to discuss heart murmurs. A heart murmur is a sound and it's a common misconception in the community that a heart murmur means that there is something wrong with the heart, for instance, a hole or a problem with the valve. In fact, when a pediatrician or another subspecialist is evaluating your baby's heart with a stethoscope, they could hear the normal sounds in the heart, which are the S1 and the S2, or as we frequently know, are the lub and the dub. And then sometimes you can actually hear an extra sound. Approximately 97 to 98% of the time, this extra sound is an innocent sound. For instance, the weather is hot outside and we haven't had enough water to drink that day, or we've come down with a cold and a fever, and that fever is causing our red blood cells to move faster through the heart. That can create an extra sound in the heart, which is referred to as a heart murmur. These are some circumstances in which normal changes that we go through in day-to-day -day life can create an extra sound. In a very small percentage of patients, based on the quality of the sound and based on the timing and the age of the patient, in addition to other signs and symptoms, the sound could represent a problem with the heart. So based on the quality of the heart murmur, a pediatrician may decide that they would like to have a cardiologist evaluate your child's heart murmur. And during that evaluation, the cardiologist may decide to do additional testing, which doesn't hurt the child, but may include an assessment of the rhythm called an EKG or an ultrasound of the heart called an echocardiogram. In approximately one or two percent of patients in which a minor abnormality may be found, the pediatric cardiologist can provide further recommendations on the uh, timing of follow-up.